Dark Souls is a 2011 dark fantasy role-playing game developed by From Software and published by Bandai Namco. It tells the story of a dying world where the first flame that sustains all life is fading. As the fire fades, the undead start to appear, people who are cursed with immortality, the cost of losing their humanity, and turning into hollows. The player takes on the role of an undead, imprisoned in the undead asylum. Oscar, a knight who was also undead, helps the player to escape from their cell. The player could find Oscar again, but only as he is dying. I'm done for, I'm afraid. From Oscar, they can learn the prophecy of the chosen undead, who is destined to travel from the undead asylum to the land of the ancient lords, where they will learn the fates of the undead. In this essay, I'll examine my own attraction to Dark Souls by analyzing its narrative through the lenses of Lacan's theory on desire and Freud's theory on catharsis. Lacan defines desire as the want for the other. The other cannot be fully defined, so the want for it is constantly deferred. This means that desires can never be fully satiated. The world and characters of Dark Souls are driven by desires that they cannot satisfy. Oscar desires a part in the prophecy of the chosen undead, but he is unable to make it through the asylum and his constant failure changes his desire to releasing as many undead as he can in the hopes that his journey has not been meaningless, that one of those will be the chosen undead. If the character revisits the asylum, they can find Oscar again, only as a hollow. He and other characters use the curse as an opportunity to pursue near impossible desires. Celera of Astora seeks to possess his very own son. Like Oscar, he is enamored by his desire and forgoes any other want. The player can find Soler with the parasitic sunlight beetle on his head, saying that he has found his own son. Both of these characters had desires that changed, but they became driven to only achieve one desire. I found the focus on singular desires to be analogous to my own experiences. I studied games development and tape for two years, and during that time I could only see myself making games as my career. I ignored any other options presented to me, and continued to study my course despite learning the games industry in Australia was small, and many students will not end up with a job in it. I completed my certification without a job or any connection to the industry, and like Oscar and Soler, was left without any other desire to achieve. According to Freud, catharsis is the positive feeling of release that comes from addressing a deep emotion. Games create moments of catharsis by responding to player choice and offering emotional closure. By confronting their unachievable desires, the characters of Dark Souls often bring out their deepest emotions. The player can defeat the Sunlight Beetles before Soler reaches them. By doing so, they will encounter a different Soler. A Soler that recognizes the impossible desires of possessing their own son, and who falls into a state of depression. Another character the player can encounter is Sigmai of Katarina, a determined and humorful knight who is always stuck at a roadblock. As the player progresses, they also open the path for Sigmai. He eventually interprets this as the player's help and is grateful towards the player, but the shame Sigma feels grows as he finds himself constantly having to rely on the player. He becomes desperate to repay his debt and to prove his ability. In their last encounter, Sigma will selflessly charge into a swarm of enemies, offering himself up as a distraction for the player, fully aware that he cannot defeat them himself. The player can choose to assist him yet again, or allow him to fulfill his desire. Through these interactions with the characters, Dark Souls lets players address their deep emotions. The inadequacy Sigmai felt reminded me of the emotions I had when I finished TAFE and I couldn't find a job in the industry. I felt like I was always relying on my friends, my family, and the government welfare system, and that I couldn't achieve anything. And Soler's depression reminded me of how I couldn't make myself part of the industry I looked up to, that I desired to be in. Dark Souls paints a bleak world where the player and the characters are always up against the impossible. But there is also light. An attentive player might notice that before the final boss, they can call on Soler to aid them. 
Dark Souls encourages the player to face their deepest emotion. I found Dark Souls to have a deeply affecting narrative that impacted me and how I faced my own emotional obstacles.